Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So Mark and I talked to each other and we're looking at the analytics of tennis this week. You know, the Australian Open's going on and IBM and ESPN, they're all pouring out stat after stat for basically every aspect of the game and the percentages that pros, you know, basically make and miss shots at. So today we're gonna look at first serve percentage and what is a target first serve percentage for you, the viewer, to be trying to achieve when you guys go out and play, okay? So, a couple of the top pros. We got Nadal serving at 69%. We've got Djokovic serving at 65%. We got Federer serving at 62%. And right about, you know, in Sampras's prime, Sampras was serving at about 59%. These are all first serve percentages, you guys. Okay, so if you look at those four servers, I think we'd all agree that Sampras definitely had the biggest first serve, where Nadal probably the weakest first serve, or not so much weak, but just didn't rely on it uh, to win him a ton of free points. All right, but I think this 10% window from about 60% where Sampras is to about 70% where Nadal is, is a really good 10% window for you guys out there to be trying to target on your first serve percentage. The reason for that, okay, we look at, we look at 66%. We're thinking, okay, every three serves I hit, I'm making two of them. That's, that tends to be a really good number on your first serve. And the reason being, if you guys say are up there in the 80 percentage range for first serves, there's a very good chance you're not giving the serve enough. You're almost being too consistent that that first serve is not doing any damage to your opponent. All right, and then the flip side of that is, let's say I just think that I need the biggest first serve at the club and I'm going out and I'm making 45% of my first serves. The issue there is now that when I do miss more than half of those first serves, you know, a decent opponent that's seeing a ton of second serves inevitably is going to do a lot of damage to you as the server when they're getting so many looks at your second serve. All right, so not that you guys have IBM and, and ESPN tracking your stats for you, but I think the simple way to go about it is, you know, take, take your next practice session, take your next match, and try to track, you know, every three serves every now and again. Are you making two out of three first serves? And when those two go in, hopefully, are they doing a decent amount of damage to your opponent? I think it's a great target number to be in that 60 to 70% range for first serves. That's where you're seeing a ton of the pros. Um, the one guy, if any of you guys were gonna write me back and say, well, what about John Isner? You know, that guy's another four or five inches taller than me. So throw, uh, throw Isner out of the mix here, and I think you guys would find that if, if we did a panel of 100 tour pros, you're going to see them all on first serve percentage be in that 60 to 70% range. So let's really try to target that. Um, in the next couple hits you guys have, I think you'll be really happy with the results, okay? That's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video. And for those of you who have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. As well as check out any of our free courses that you guys can find in the description below me here. I think those would be a ton of help for most of you viewers who haven't seen them yet. All right, and until next time, thanks for watching. See you guys soon.